here and in this video we're going to be looking at the colossus update or an update that's a col in coloss a colossal proportions <laughs> and we can expect nothing less than chris and riley s this is the update to the lizard colossus harvesters pack by the said chris s and riley s on farming simulator 22 it's for all platforms even console but pc and mac as well I'm on PS5 here on the Georgia Farms map, and this has taken a little bit of time to set up because I've had to um, get all the new crops ready for this. Now, yes, what is the update? Well, the update that everyone has been waiting for, of course, is added premium edition root headers. Actually, one header that does, uh, does them all. And so uh, what's going on here? Um, additional wheel configurations, we'll look at that. Uh, chrome color options, new sounds, um, the forage harvester sound, lizard decal op option for Colossus 9000, passenger script, so the Kubota DLC is required for that, and the Colossus root cart. Yes, they have added a root cart, and it is, of course, unrealistically awesome <clears throat> now this video is going to concentrate on the root crop addition because there's lots going on here the other additions are important as well and they have actually added a whole bunch of stuff i'll i'll actually put a uh, um in the description i will put this update as well as comments made by chris s himself um about everything that's included with this and we will go over a few of those but to keep it short and sweet and to the point let's first take a look at the um, the harvester and that's going to be in beat technology yes i know that's <clears throat> but here it is down at the bottom you can see potatoes beets carrots parsnips and the new red beets so the three new crops of course you have to have the premium uh, expansion DLC for the new crops I can't emphasize that enough so now we have new configuration sugar beet yes potato yes those were there before both unrealistic yes they were both there before both ultra unrealistic yes that has not changed but now only premium root crops standard that means standard capacity of 43,000 liters if you want to play realistic with this and the root crops using this root crop harvester that is the one you want to pick if you want to go unrealistic which means a 253,000 liter capacity or all root crops ultra unrealistic which gives you 2.5 million i do believe capacity if I'm reading that correctly so that means you can use this for all crops uh, the potatoes beets parsnips carrots and red beets so if you want to have everything pick that one now we have the engine set up which is the same as it was before wheel brands uh, the wheel brands have not changed the there is uh, now a truck option which changes the rims to a truck style and if we go here they all have it or at least most of them have uh, a truck style wheel there we go so that has been added i do believe uh lights beacons window tint neon underglow colors we have some uh chrome colors i think that's um, some added colors to the uh, um, I'm not sure w exactly which ones it wasn't specified but uh, there is lots of very awesome colors available uh, for each and every one of these right so that is the harvester itself now that's not the only awesome thing yet let's take a look at where we're going to find the headers and those are going to be under uh beat techno no the new headers are under miscellaneous 
and here they are root crop header dlc root crop header so this you uh, for this to work you need the premium expansion dlc purchased loaded and active on your map now this four meter working width 10 miles per hour so it's a standard the standard uh speed and width just now it does <clears throat> the root crops so this is the same as the beat header with standard configurations and we have all these wonderful colors we can pick uh even uh even pink and design so everything there is the same but now what we have here is a unrealistic version and let's take a look at this because aside from the 90 mile per hour top speed or working speed opposed to the 10 we have a working width option standard four meters we have a 10 meter unrealistic yes 10 meter wide and a 20 meter wide unrealistic which we will show you of course and then the colors right uh, last but not least is the root cart and that's going to be under tools and auger wagons there it is the colossus root cart uh 350 horsepower re uh, recommended up to uh, for, so so from 45,000 liters up to 1.5 million liter capacity and um options for a bulk trailer so literally it could hold every bulk crop available and that's also in configuration so you can have it as a realistic capacity um beet root sugar beet standard we can have the brands the brands yes or no uh strobe lights yes we can have the standard whatever uh the same uh, options as all the harvesters police fire EM, ems main colors is all the wonderful colors that we had with everything else design colors going to be that uh, grids are your well grids and then the belt well we got to make something pink so the belt it is and then a license plate so now sugar beet standard as i said you can have it as just like the base game sugar beet now we also have all root crop standard that means it will take all the new crops and the potatoes and beets in the standard size of forty-five thousand liters bulk crop standard that means everything from wheat all the way to every single whatever fertilizer manure anything you can put in it that comes not anything not liquid standard 45,000 liters all root crops unrealistic 1.5 million liters um just root crops and then finally bulk crops unrealistic 1.5 million liters of anything so not only is this for the new crops it's for everything a wonderful wonderful s sneaky addition to this update that i don't think anyone was uh anticipating at least not until we've seen it today all right so having said all those wonderful things let's hop in and um get our help windows oh on yes on there we go all right so i already have some red beets in here now oh he's unloading why is he unloading let's get that um so turning it on and as you can see as i drive forward this is the 20 meter width and if i hire a worker he goes very fast now this one is as you can see the 43,000 liter capacity so i would highly recommend um using one of the um 
one of the unrealistic settings or options because well you're going to be unloading this uh, really often and so we're going to put it actually into our um, unload it here into our beat and um, what we're going to do is we're going to go and uh, boost it up in capacity and there's one uh, one word of caution uh, with the use of this um, this header specifically so sugar beet uh, all root crops unrealistic just go with the 253 yes now because this will do literally everything if you have um, if you have some uh, other crops close by uh, say for instance I do believe I have some uh, sugar beets here Uh, did I not pick the sugar beet one? I suppose I did not. Right, so if we if we we go that and uh, your capacity is less than 5%, you are going to... Um, if you come across another field of uh, another root crop, say like these... Uh, it will harvest that as well and it will make your capacity your the whatever you've harvested make it go bye-bye so that is what I refer to as the 5% rule that is uh, something for farming simulator 22 something new uh, it works the same with the uh, regular grain harvesters headers because they harvest a bunch of different crops if you have less than 5% capacity in your hopper and you have say grain in there and you go across a barley field it will start picking up barley and make the grain that you already have in your hopper go away now so once you once you go past the 5% as I'll show you here you're not going to uh, it's not going to harvest a different crop so just as long as you keep that in mind be careful the first and if you have the ultra unrealistic it's going to take a very long time to get up to that five percent so that's the explanation uh, for the reason why you need to be careful with this header around um, other other root crops or the other premier crops and so uh, yes so this is obviously the widest unrealistic header now uh, I do have I believe this is a um, standard version of the root crop header and just to kind of demonstrate the uh, the difference and then we're going to go unload um, the uh, uh, the new um, the new the new trailer. <laughs> so here we go. The ten mile an hour. So this is the standard harvester. So uh, there it is. Now I guess there's one thing I need to do f f yet other than just showing it is is letting the worker um letting letting the worker do it and seeing if uh if the worker is is working properly shall we say so let's um let's just place down a cell point just uh, to show the unloading and we'll just going to throw that here and we're going to hook up our 
trailer. And pipe out. So this is at the 40, this is the standard capacity too, but we're going to bump this up. So standard capacity unload speed is pretty good as these are generally pretty fast unloading um, in the standard configuration uh, base game anyways. Uh, so let's, uh, let's see if we can make this easy for us and uh, place down a uh, repair spot here don't worry I don't I don't save it when I'm doing this but it is the root cro the crops are saved so I can come back in here because well we have we have more things to test so root uh, all root crops bulk crops standard all root crops let's go bulk crops unrealistic and uh, we'll go empty out uh, that a crop of parsnips I do believe and then test the unload speed again so um, this finally this mod uh, now makes uh, makes uh, harvesting at least harvesting um, the new crops so much uh, even the old even the beets and potatoes this has revolutionized now the uh, um, harvesting these root crops for sure hands down right so let's uh, let's set him off and um, away he goes carrots and we just want to watch the turnaround at the end uh, let's see I think the max speed is 90 I don't know if we're gonna get there at the end of this and it seems to be harvesting it uh, without missing anything so there we go it's gonna turn around very nice you're gonna need a little bit of space at the end of the row for sure but um, very nice that was very clean no goofing around at the back at the end of the row or anything he lined up I don't think there's any overlap if there is it's very small nice right so not to say that there may not be some issues with further testing however initial uh, my initial um, testing here shows that it seems to be working quite well. Let's see, how fast does this unload? Pretty fast. So it looks like they've sped up the, uh, the unload speed on the um, unrealistic capacity as well, which sometimes some modders, I must say, miss. But uh, these guys are pretty much on the ball with everything and so nice to see that they finally got this day I know they had some problems um, getting this through testing but um, right so as I said there are other updates um, with sounds and so forth and some decals options but um, this is the major one uh, the major update here that everyone has been waiting for and now maybe we can have some fun with the new root crops all we need now is a uh, planter or seeder to uh, to seed a much wider swath of these and uh, aside from the what the five meter working width of the um, <laughs> the, the uh, the planter for the new crops but anyways I digress again there you go that's the update to the lizard colossus harvesters pack by Chris S and Riley S I hope if I missed anything I'm sure they will uh, mention it but um, check it out go get it if you don't already have it and update it if you haven't already updated it now thank you all for watching and remember it's only a game so till the next one Bye for now.